Hello everyone. So in the Java tutorials, WP tutorials, we have seen in the last video that how you can create constructor to a class and how you can create even multiple constructors for a particular class, right? Right. So we can create like number of fields and the color. I'm just saying, right? Color and uh, also we can have this uh, uh, auto gear with one constructor and other constructor we can have only color and wheels so some things like that so okay so multiple constructor we can create for a class so these are the basic things actually so today we will see or we will have a look on a fundamental concept called inheritance that is the first and for most important uh, let's say concept or feature or nature in object-oriented programming concepts okay so if you go to Google and search what inheritance means okay uh, you will know what it is right so when uh, family okay then let's say when there's a generation okay let's say this is father okay or this is a uh, dad and this is his son or daughter or his children okay whoever it is so let's say father has some uh, houses or properties something like that or let's say this is a house okay house uh, properties and everything uh, blah 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 things so his children okay let's say children okay will automatically get those properties right once the father dies or not it doesn't matter children will automatically get gets them because they are the children of the father okay so we can say they inherit his properties okay not only properties even his nature right so if your father is um, in a particular color, skin color, you, let's say you may inherit his skin color, you may inherit, it, uh, inherit his um, type of hair, okay? you may inherit his type of uh, height, you may inherit his body type or even your mother's. So the features or natures of parents can be or properties of the parents can be inherited by the children. Okay? So the same can become true with technology as well programming as well in WOP right in object oriented pro programming concepts so let's say we have a class okay instead of father we have a car class let's say we have a car class okay and we can have or any class okay we can have child class to them okay we can create new classes that can be child classes to the car and they will obviously will inherit the uh, methods and attributes of the parents class so in it, when it comes to family or people we say it will inherit the properties it will inherit the natures so when it comes to class what are the natures and properties a class can have two types of things methods and attributes that means variables and methods so both of them can be inherited by these childs these children right Whoever the children of this parent class, so this is also these are also classes, children classes. Whoever the <coughs> children class of a parent class can inherit their parents attributes and methods. That means you don't have to write new attributes or new variables or methods inside the children class if they are inside the parent class because automatically they will inherit the parents' nature. For example, let's say you have there's a father and he has a son, okay. And if the father has a house, let's say, and let's say there's a son and the father has a house, the son doesn't have to build a house because automatically the son will inherit the father's house, isn't it so? So just assume like that, okay. Something like this. This. So when we when a child is uh, inherited parent class, when a child class is inherited parent class. The child class will obviously have the parents attributes and methods you don't have to explicitly write uh, let's say uh, the any methods or any variables that was in the parents class because automatically it is there it will be there you don't have to write so for example something like that. so if, let's say you may ask okay so if the child class can access all the very can have or can contain 
all the attributes and methods of a parent class then why do you even have to write the child, child class you can even use the parent class right it's indeed but what about the improvements what about the new features for example your father has a house and obviously as a son you will inherit it but let's say your father lived in 19 um, 90s okay and you are now living in let's say 2025 okay you will get his house but that's not enough in 2025 okay you may need a smartphone okay so the child has to buy his own smartphone so apart from father's properties child also has to ask his or her own properties let's say if you are a daughter so you can have the father's house let's say right and you may have to have also have to have a smartphone or a vehicle or something like that okay so don't ask me if the father has one house uh, how both of the child children can have it okay so that doesn't make uh, i mean you can ignore that concept but in uh, programming if the if the parent class have an attribute any number of child classes can have them can access them okay it doesn't matter okay so in so this smartphone concept how can it be applied here it's like this okay let's say when somebody writes the parent class okay car class they uh, write that attributes and vari variables that they need at that particular time okay let's say now you are improving the code time is changing okay and uh, let's say you are planning to uh, have a new feature okay so and you don't want to edit the parent class so simply what you can have is you can inherit the class or in other words you can create a child class for the parent class then obviously you will have the existing methods and variables that goes in the parent class and then you can add only one more or extra variable or method that you want nowadays in this time period like a smartphone now what will happen the child class will have all the variables and methods of the parent class and also his new methods and variables that means the child will have the parent's house the father's house and also his own smartphone okay so now in 2025 you can use the child because he has a new attribute as well you understand something like that so uh, okay so how you can create a when you have a parent class how you can have a class that is its child so how can you become the child of your father by born right by boning to him okay so i mean when you born you be born to him let's say so you become his father but in techno technology how can a class can become the child class of the parent class or in another word how can you create a child class to a class you have or in another word you wrote a class and you have it and you now you want to create a let's say you wrote a car class and now you want to create a child class for the car how can you do it so there is a way to do it we can see that in the upcoming videos anyway so that is one thing and uh, like the in reality for a parent class we can have any number of child classes like this a father we can have any number of children but for a child class you can have only one parent class it's obvious for a child there can be only one father okay that is one thing and another thing is uh, if you want to know a real world example i can say simply car is a parent class okay it has basic features like wheels or um, steering wheels steering oh, okay or mirror or color and all those things let's say maruti can become a child class it's a brand of car that can have the basic features of a car and also can have its own brand related features toyota toyota also can become a child class it also can have all the compulsory features of the car class and it also can have its own uh, unique brand related features okay audi audi can become a child class of car class the same as that bmw can become a child class of the car class and it will automatically inherit all the parent car class features and also it will have its own brand related features by re returning uh, by being written newly you get it we will continue further in the next video guys until then stay safe